If you want to make your photos look soft and dreamy in Lightroom, then I have four sliders that you're going to want to know about. Let's get into it. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com where we love to talk about photography and photo editing and today we're going to talk all about creating soft and dreamy edits in Lightroom. Now if you've seen other people with these kinds of edits you may have thought that they use some kind of special camera settings or a filter or something like that when in fact there's only a few sliders in Lightroom that you need to use to create this effect. It's super simple to do once you know the process of things and in this tutorial we'll also share how to do it selectively to refine where those softening adjustments take place. So with all that said, let's hop into Lightroom and see how to create this awesome effect. So the photo that we'll be applying this dreamy effect onto is this icy waterfall I shot the other day. And believe it or not, this is actually right off the side of a road. So this might have been one of the easiest winter photos I've ever taken. Anyways, since this has lots of highlights and cool things going on, this is a perfect photo to apply this effect onto. I think that these dreamy looks look awesome in landscape photography, but also work really well for the backgrounds of portrait photos. Now, as you'll see in a second here, if you go too overboard with these adjustments on someone's skin or their clothing, you'll significantly reduce the amount of detail and it can make things look a little bit weird so if you are editing a portrait with this effect just try to be sparing with it and make sure that you're not overdoing it otherwise your subjects will start to look like porcelain and maybe like aliens and we really don't want that now when you're creating this effect you have two different options you can either apply it to the whole photo or you can selectively apply it for me I don't like my entire image to look soft and dreamy I just like to put it in certain areas so I'm going to use the adjustment brush to make that happen so click on the adjustment brush here within the develop module. I'll scroll down to my brush settings here and just set my feather to 100, my flow to 100, and my density to 100. So then everything is nice and visible with our adjustment brush. From there, I'll start in painting my mask around my image. And obviously you can't see what's going on. So press O on your keyboard so you can view that mask and it makes life a lot easier when you're trying to figure out where you're painting that adjustment onto. So I'll just quickly go around my image here and paint over the parts of the photo that I want to make look dreamy and nice. So for this example, I basically want everything except for the waterfall to look nice and dreamy. So that looks pretty good to me right there. And then I'll press O again to hide that adjustment. So now that we have the adjustment painted onto our photo, we're going to create this effect using our texture, clarity, dehaze, and contrast sliders in that order. Starting with our texture slider, we're going to drag that down and it's going to take away some of that edge contrast and make things look a little bit more soft in the photo. So looking at this ice right here especially, notice how much softer it's become just going from the zero value and down here, look how much more soft that looks. Next we'll go to the clarity slider and that does a very similar thing, it softens things out a bit and further adds that dreamy look to our selection area. You can go crazy with this if you want, but just keep in mind that you don't want to do this over details that you really want to maintain, such as that of someone's face or their clothing and things like that. So in the background of a photo, you can kind of get away with it, but on a person, not so much. I'll drag that down to somewhere around here. That looks pretty good. And then lastly, I'll use the dehaze slider. Now the dehaze slider works really well for actually adding back in contrast to photos, especially on like a foggy day. But in this case, we can actually use it to soften the over overall selection area that we're working with. So I'll drag that down just a little and it's going to lighten that up and help add a glowing look to our selected area. Lastly, just to make things blend back in a little bit better and look a bit more rich, we're going to add some contrast. So I'll increase that contrast slider like so. And then now we get those dreamy highlights, but our shadows stay nice and crisp. So with those four sliders, you end up getting a really nice looking dreamy effect. Now that we have that all done, let's compare the before and after of this look. This is our before on this side and our after over here. Looking at the icicles hanging down, look how much more dreamy and soft this looks compared to the original. These are very sharp and crisp where this blends things together and makes those highlights glow a lot. Looking up into our background as well, it helps to make the forest look a little bit more soft and dreamy versus having these sharp trees that we started with. And it does the same thing around the rocks and such as well. Now you could go and do the opposite of this and apply it onto the waterfall and get a more dreamy waterfall and whatever. And there's literally limitless ways that you can apply this effect onto your photo. And using the adjustment brush, you can manually select exactly where those softening adjustments will take place. So whether you want a little or a lot, kind of like Mio, if you remember drinking that stuff ever, the adjustment brush is the greatest tool for this effect.
Now these soft and dreamy edits on photos look amazing for golden hour photography or waterfalls, but you can apply it to any image you want. Now if you want to make this process even easier with a single click, I have a glowing preset pack that you can get access to over on bewillcreative.com and I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. These presets come with a variety of spot glowing adjustments, so whether you want to lighten the sky, add some cool vignetting effects, or just do general glow adjustments, you can do all of that with this preset pack and it's super helpful, especially if you love to use this effect like I do. So again, if you wanna get access to that, you can find it over on bewillcreative.com via the link in the description below. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video and you learned how to make your photos look nice and dreamy in Lightroom, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Again, my name is Brandon from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.